Hey everyone, Tone here from Reverb, here today to talk about the Workstat from Moog. If you'll remember, the Workstat was available for MoogFest 2014 festival goers who held the engineer's pass, and they were able to build it in the synth building workshop. It's a great little baby Moog synth, uh, gets that great big Moog sound, available now for $1.99 and notably ships with the CV expander that allows you to interface it with your other gear. The Workstat is a great little gateway drug into analog synthesis. Um, we're gonna get into how to use it and how it sounds, but first we gotta build it, so let's start there. So the assembly of the Workstat is pretty simple. You wanna start with attaching the rubber feet to the bottom chassis and then move to trimming the nylon washer. After that, install the PCB board to the bottom chassis and make sure to thread the audio jack through the bottom chassis before attaching the black nylon hex nut. After that, we can put on our 13 button caps for the keyboard buttons and then add the top panel with the sheet metal screws. Now that we've got it built, we can take a look at the layout of the workstat. If you look at the front panel here, we have some very simple modules and they're divided up into sections that make it easy to understand. You have a VCO, voltage controlled oscillator, a VCF, a voltage controlled filter, um, a voltage controlled amplifier or VCA, uh, the VCO mod section, the VCF mod section, an LFO and an envelope. And then you have the mod bus over here, keyboard down here, glide controls over here. To start with the VCO, simple frequency potentiometer that allows you to move up and down, up and down the uh, octaves, octave scale. Uh, that has two waveforms, a pulse wave. With the pulse wave modulation, it allows you to adjust the length of the pulse. And then a saw wave. It's very simple. Um, the VCF has two simple controls. You're cut off, it's a low pass filter and then resonance control. It allows you to control the resonance. VCA control is very simple. It allows you to route either straight out for drone uh, or through the, through the envelope generator to have distinct notes. Um, the VCO mod section allows you to send either one of the modulators, the LFO or the envelope, to the VCO. So the LFO will send the LFO to, let's see, if we turn up the amount here, the LFO will send through the VCO mod to the VCO. So you can send the LFO or the envelope generator either to the pulse width modulation here or to the frequency. So if you choose the pulse width modulation, you'll have to be in the pulse setting to hear it, but it'll allow the pulse to change. Or to the frequency, which will allow the frequency to change. If you send the envelope generator, it'll allow you to send a sm simple two or three step envelope with attack, sustain, and decay. Um, attack being from zero to full. Sustain either on or off, and that allows you to either hold the gate open or just have it go straight to the, to the decay stage. So no matter if you hold it or not, the sustain will allow you to keep the note open. For the voltage-controlled filter modulation, you can send either both modulators again, LFO or envelope generator, to the filter. And that will control whether which one either goes straight in to the filter. And that goes straight to the cutoff, all right? So not to the resonance. The polarity on the VCF mod allows you to send the 
voltage control in either positive or negative polarity. So a positive envelope will sound pretty typical, but a negative one will dip it out. The LFO has a square and a triangle wave, so you can send that. You want to either drop it out negative or put it higher. Both sound kind of the same. LFO rate goes from very low frequency up into the audio rate. So those modulators can also do some, some audio rate frequency modulation. So a little bit of FM action in there. It works fine without the CV expander. Um, you can use these small pin wires to do your patching. And there's a bunch of little mod modulators here that allow you to send signal from different parts of the synth and reroute all the signal paths. Um, for instance, if you want to send the VCO out into the VCO exponential in, you get some sick little frequency modulator sounds. Pinout Modbus is great and uh, it works perfectly well to modulate anything on here using the pinouts, but that's really only going to work with the workstat itself. Uh, in order to expand it, we have the CV expander. And installation on that is super easy. I'm going to do it real quick and then we'll get into what we can do using regular patch cables. All right, quick and easy. We got the CV expander on. Now we can use some standard patch cables. Pretty classic, well-known trick is to use patching to get yourself a cool little kick drum. Let's try that. You can even use the LFO square wave as a clock and have it clock your kick drum. These are great sounds for sampling into anything else if you have some other gear or a DAW that you're using.
The expander, in addition to allowing for standard eighth inch patch cables, also opens up the world of Euro rack and all of your other Moog semi-modulars. Uh, we're gonna hook it up to the grandmother and see how that sounds in a bit. So make sure to check out the Workstat on Reverb. It's super affordable, it sounds great, and it's super expandable as well. I'll see you guys next time. Hard to tell what the uh, 